People with autism have problems with language. About a quarter of the population never acquire spoken language. No one has really asked the question, why do these people never learn to speak? When you speak or when you're listening, great gobs of the brain are involved. It's a very complex network. What we're interested in is comparing the brains of a whole range of individuals with the attempt to understand what might be wrong in the brains of these individuals who don't speak at all. Do we see differences in the connectivity in particular regions? Is it going to be more in the traditional language areas? Is it going to be more in these speech output areas? Is it going to be more in the auditory processing areas? Or much more likely, and what we're really expecting, any and all of the above. We're hoping that eventually we can look at children very early on and target the intervention to the particular kinds of problems they have. So we're hoping that this is going to be the first step along the way to making a difference.